Hi, I want to talk to you today about the Renaissance. I want to give you a little bit of an overview as to what the Renaissance was all about before you do your next project, and hopefully you can tie it in to the concept that is being taught here. Um, the Renaissance, first of all, was a great time of rebirth. Um, it was a part, it was a natural progression, or what was really important was humanism and a revival in cultural achievements. Um, it began in Italy and spread all throughout Europe. So they have what's called the High Renaissance and then uh, the Standard Time of Renaissance, and there are different time periods within it, but I want to talk about the art in particular. And what's really important or want to talk about the most is this slide. Okay, I know you've heard of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I outlined them here, Donatello, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael. And if you look at them in particular, Donatello was born in 1386 and died in 1466. And then if you skip down to Leonardo, he was born in 1452. So right before he died, he was born. Okay, and then Michelangelo here, even later, and Raphael even later. And so if you look at these dates in particular, technically they couldn't have been teenagers at the exact same time. But that show is kind of, they're, they're taking the concept of artists and using it as just their names, okay? Of course, they have other little puns in there, if that's what you want to call them. The whole idea behind their, from Italy, uh, they eat a lot of pizza, they, some of them are artists in particular, as far as who likes art more, and that kind of thing. It's just a joke. There are other artists during this time who are really popular. Jan Van Eyck, uh, Roger van der Weyden. I like how say, it's saying his rent. It's actually pronounced Roger van der Weyden. The W is silent, very much like my maiden name. It's pronounced with a V. And then Sandro Botticelli. You've probably heard of Botticelli before. He's known for painting the birth of Venus. Albright Durer did a bunch of woodcuts. If you go back to the Ninja Turtles, Donatello was a sculptor. Leonardo was a painter and a sculptor, um, but mostly a, a painter. He was jack of all trades, of course. Michelangelo was a huge sculptor. And then the Pope came to him later and said, hey, I want you to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. And he gave in and did that. So yes, he was a great sculptor, but then became a painter as well. Raphael is known for painting portraits. And with that said, it's a good little uh, spinoff to talk about portraits. The Renaissance in particular, there were some invent inventions that were really, really popular during this time. And the big one in particular was the glass mirror. The glass mirror was invented. Before this time, people could only see their reflection by looking in water or in a metal object. But as you know, if you look into a spoon, you know, on one direction, your face is concave and the other direction, it flips upside down. So the way they could see the reflection was quite difficult. And then somebody decided, hey, we can figure out how to make a mirror so people can start seeing themselves. And that was huge with the art world. You know, that that... People didn't necessarily have to have an artist to paint their portrait to see what they looked like. They could start looking in the mirror. And that, that's, that's a big deal. And then, of course, the next invention later on is the camera. That also put a jump into art. I shouldn't have put this uh, Black Death here. It's not really an invention. But it, the plague was something that occurred during the Renaissance. Um, other things were invented as well. Um, perspective. Perspective was a huge deal during the Renaissance. They started to take the concept of things being farther away, being smaller, and things up closer being larger. And they started producing that into their art. Um, go away. <laughs> um, art, science, and literature all grew to tremendously during the Renaissance. And it was led by all of these famous artists, as well as scientists like Galileo and writers like Shakespeare. I want to talk about the statues. Greeks, when we talked about the Greeks and their ideal proportions, they made their humans ideal, meaning making them look a little bit prettier than they really were for depicting the human body. During the Renaissance, okay, um, as far as architecture and painting and all that, became more and more popular and people started doing them a little more realistic, not as idealistic. So that's something else to talk to you about. So all of these inventions sparked a family, okay? And this family 
was called the Medicis. The Medici patronage. They were patrons of the arts. They were a very rich family that took control over Florence and part of Italy and very were highly important patrons of the arts. Without the Medicis, art wouldn't have flourished. These, this family was so big and had so much power and so much money that they supported art. They wanted statues and paintings all over their government offices and their homes and all that, you know, to show off. So they hired artists, okay? These are portraits that were made by different artists of the Medicis. So you can see the, the family. And the generations consisted of Giovanni. He established the, the family fortune. And he, of course, was commissioned by Brunicelli to design a family church in honor of the patron Saint San Lorenzo. So he created that he established it all, had his own family church, and the um, the continuation of the family name. Then we have Cosimo. He continued to build onto the church as well. He established the first public library, and he commissioned the Statue of David by Donatello. The Statue of David is this statue. Very, very famous, okay? You probably also know Michelangelo's Statue of David, but the Statue of David by um, Donatello was actually the first one that was made for that family. Then we have Lorenzo the Magnificent. He encouraged Michelangelo and Botticelli. When Lorenzo died, the greatest period in the Renaissance also kind of died off, okay? So this family was that important, so that's the beginning of the Renaissance, and I hope you took some notes, and there's a couple more videos I also want you to watch.